and record-breaking doesn't seem to capture the historic nature of the wildfires that we've seen this year in several western states, making efforts to fight them that much more important. The Weather Channel's Reynolds Wolf spoke to a man who's turning his experience into a mission to better fight fires. Fighting those large and out-of-control wildfires can feel like a never-ending battle. We are building heavy lift drones to support wildland firefighters and to make their missions more effective and safer. After Joshua Resnick almost lost his California home in a fire, he set out to find a way to help. I reached out to experts in the industry. Uh, I found out that uh, drones or unmanned systems were being used for a lot of applications, uh, but that they were limited in terms of flight time and payload. An engineer, he and his team are developing drones that can fly longer and carry heavy supplies. It's about five and a half feet between rotors, and the rotors are each 40 inches in diameter. The prototype is able to carry up to 50 pounds, but a more capable drone is in the works. The aircraft that we're building now, which is our beta level aircraft that we can actually field, that will fly a 100 pound payload. Once in full use, it will be able to deliver supplies and start controlled burns with the eventuality of carrying 300 pounds and adding fire suppression to its duties. What also makes the drone valuable is its ability to fly in extreme environments, such as smoke and wind. We have pretty good indication right now that we'll be able to handle uh, gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Our aircraft can use infrared cameras and GPS to fly completely through what would, what would otherwise be just blind conditions. And this is going to be a game changer to be able to fly when all the manned aircraft are grounded. Resnick expects to have his beta drone at work in early 2021, but says, down the line, the drone could be used for relief after hurricanes and other natural disasters.